Hello guys and welcome to episode 23 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Grom the Paunch leading the Broken Axe to world domination. Today it looks like we're going to go to war with Kadakirn. They set up camp right outside Kadakazor. So might as well kill them whilst we can. And then we're going to have to deal with the settlement of Kadakirn eventually. There is a full stack in there. I'm hoping they kind of attack other settlements to, to weaken themselves first but we will see let's grab Skarsnek and declare war and uh, they are uh, allied with the Golden Order and Clan Angrand that is fine since we're at war with both of them already okay so we have a little bit of a garrison force behind us but this is quite simply going to be more or less a lined up battle where we just kind of clash at the front and then hope my goblin archers have more armor piercing than their quarrelers do. Uh, which I know they definitely do. So um, let's go ahead and fight this on the battle. This will be in the underway which is pretty cool. We do have a couple of the uh, goblin rock lobbers so they'll probably do a lot of damage to these long beards. And we're going to want to do as much damage to these as possible before we actually engage them because they are a tough unit to kill. They don't necessarily do a lot of damage but uh, yeah, they certainly do a lot of damage. Or well, they certainly, uh, sorry, take a lot of damage. Not, not do a lot of damage. Uh, we might as well stay as far back as possible. Although I'll use the Vanguard deployment to set myself up properly. Put the goblins in the center. Uh, we do have three units of Night Goblin Fanatics, but I'm going to put them on the flanks. So they can throw themselves from left to right or right to left. Uh, where's the last one? Yeah, we'll put two on one side and one on the other. That'll do. I will have all of my archers just crammed up behind. I'm not sure where I want to put the uh, the Crimson Killers in this line, honestly. I'll keep these out of it for the time being, though. Okay. Let's start the battle. And far away. Uh, we will... Hit those long beards, hit those long beards. If we miss, we'll probably hit the ones behind, so I think those are the best targets. Just want to chunk them as much as possible. As for these reinforcements, we'll just have a few of the archers move to the right hand side there. I might just have all of these come to the right flank. Where we're a little bit light on troops since we have the Crimson Killers on the left flank. Oh, we've done a decent chunk of damage there. Oh, that was a lovely hit. Hopefully, we can do a decent hit here as well. Eh, not as decent. Not too bad, though. I think I might have this one change onto this Longbeard unit. Hit a nice fresh unit. And the quarrelers are getting into range, so what we might want to do is actually move forwards my line. So that my archers can get into range of their archers. And if I can kill off their quarrelers, uh, then we'll be in a pretty good spot. I'll also have the Goblin Rock Lovers start targeting their archers. Okay, let's do it. Let's throw these through. Beautiful. So much damage from those. Let's do it the same this way. It is actually just ludicrous how much damage they do. Well, that is hitting my own goblins a bit there. Oops. Ah, that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to put these on guard. Let's get the squid hoppers to go around the flank here. Please, 
We've done a lot of damage. Uh, we should probably have Skarsnik hold the line here a little bit for us because the goblins are broken. Going to get these pump wagons to head around the side. I should probably just obliterate this unit though with uh, some fanatics. Spin through them. Oh, that's victory. Beautiful. Oh, we'll have our initial line just come back. And we'll just let my archers kill them off. Although I think they die anyway because they're in underway stars. Actually, uh, no, I don't think they do actually. No, I think about it. So yeah, we'll just we'll just keep shooting them. We'll just make sure. They can have the squid coppers run them down after the after all my archers have finished. The archers don't have like the best range, so. We'll just let the squid hoppers get the job done. We'll munch on some dwarves. Ah, oh, those actually demolish that unit. Wow. I didn't expect them to be so effective at jumping, uh, running stuff down. That was incredible. Wow, they absolutely annihilated them. I'll definitely make sure to go finish off these quarrelers. All right, how do? Yeah, those quick coppers ended up with 105 kills in that short amount of time. So 256 for one of those fanatic units. Those things are crazy. They're so good versus the uh, the dwarves when they all stack up. Okay, that was a great battle. I think they'll just get kind of pushed back slightly, yeah, and we'll have to finish them off. Okay. Alright. Skarsnik can grab a bit of, uh, spite of the bad moon, I think. Let's do that. And we'll have him go and finish off this unit. We'll take the leadership. Awesome. Is there a way that I could get myself mage here? I don't think there is, is there? Uh, maybe I could get one from the Southern Grey Mountains. A giant river troll hag might be a might be an idea. So I do need to get him some magic. We got the giant river troll hag in Cracker's army. Cracknick's got his own magic. Hmm. I mean, we could do a giant river troll hag. I guess shaman would be better, probably, so that we can get some orc shaman magic. Like, foot of gork is just really, really nice. But I guess death magic would be fine as well. I'm trying to think what would best suit Skarsnik and his army. We're probably just going to have goblins here for the most part. So, I'm not even sure. I think we'll get an Orc Shaman. Tough or Bragger. We'll do the Bragger. And we'll go Gaze of Mork, Power of the War, Brain Burst upgraded, so we get the armor piercing. And he can head over here. Okay. Right, and with that, I guess I should head to Galak Bifta. Uh, we'll head down this way, we'll stay in enemy or friendly territory for this turn. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to hit that next turn. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> we will see. Alright, near jug. Let's have him assault the units of Balthazar Gel. Lovely, that actually worked. Okay. Uh, he's leveled up as well from that. No slack. Max out specialist. That works for me. Skunk still heading down. Who owns this? The Knights of Oligo. Over to Drock. Oh, what about Azrol? Azrol's actually heading up here, isn't he? Uh, we need to head up here more specifically to the top. I think it's Red Eye Mountain. Oh, Mordheim's owned by the Wargrove of Woe. Who are they? I don't remember them being a thing. And what were we going to do with Drock? I mean, I guess we could go and check out Kingsglade. Now you Zero percent chance. We can block the army. That'll do. I think he probably got wounded previously, didn't he? That's what happened. Okay. Uh, commandment available over here. We'll go for the Camp Ruckus. Uh, Val Zanville can level up. We have a damaged building of the Oak of Ages. We might as well fix that so we don't get attrition. And I guess we could go through and just build everything we can. Head over to Nagarith, toward Dranil. Uh, we'll start building the walls already, and we'll, of course, put in the pile of shiny stuff. Tyrannoc. Again, we need walls at White Peak, and we're going to upgrade that. At Togavan, uh, we're definitely not going to upgrade that just in case it gets attacked. And then we have Albion. Which can upgrade. Okay, good. That's everything. I do have 49,000 left to spend, but nothing to spend it on. Pay attention to the God of Pleasure. we got to keep an eye on these Black Arcs. I want to make sure I hunt them down and kill them off. Oh, Balthasar Gelt sallied forth? That is an interesting choice. This is really good for us because an open field battle against his forces is fantastic. Uh, let's jump on in. <laughs> uh, just gunners and the Hellstorm rocket batteries there will just get annihilated by this army. I've just got to be a little bit careful of the big spiders. They might get killed. I don't want to lose my Lava Arachnorok Spider or my Spider Queen. Other Zargout definitely could do a number on them. I will make sure my spiders just start close, I guess. Actually, do we need to? I mean, I could start some over here. And we'll start some maybe over here. We'll have these just like out in front flank with these big boys behind with the uh, the catapults. We'll put the catapults like over here on the hill. I probably want to put a leader in cover somewhere so he doesn't get killed as well. <laughs> nice. Some extra magic. I would send the spiders in, but I think what we can do is we can we can spawn some hatchlings. We can send them in. Oh, I thought they were shooting at the uh, forest goblin spider rider, but they're actually shooting at the uh, the big spiders. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and send these forwards. I'm going to make sure all of these go on to skirmish. Honestly, that's really good damage coming in there. Gonna kill 
we're getting some good damage onto those units. We might hit the halberds there. That'd be good. Ragnik Spider Claw almost has another set. Should be good. Alright. Let's charge in from the sides. Go shut down all these range forces. Nice, we've almost killed the warrior priests. That's great. Let's just keep sending forwards the spider hatchlings. So any unit of spider hatchlings that we have, just need to keep going back in. I've overwhelmed their back line. He's in a little bit of trouble. Let's just pull back there. Nice. We'll just keep him peppered by those units. Might want to disengage with the great swords there. I can have the goblin rock lovers engage those. This is great. Yeah, we've absolutely demolished those units. Alright, let's just go and crush one of these great sword units. Okay, great. Uh, let's have these go and get involved now, might as well. Um, I'm going to have these move around the side and hit them from the back. That will help us kill them off faster. Nice, we got the war, so we'll maintain combat for a little while. Okay, great. Let's, uh, ooh, not engage there. That's bad. <laughs> I thought they had uh, ammo, but they don't. Okay, this is fine. Uh, let's make sure we're not friendly firing, and we'll attack these great swords that are out in the open. Might as well go kill Balthasar Gel. Nice. These forest goblin spider riders did a fantastic job. I'm just surprised how much damage they did. It was crazy. Let's pull these boys away. Get them out of the way of the big spiders. Because I think the big spiders can actually do quite a lot of damage to Balthazar Gel. I'm just going to spawn some spiders here. So engage that unit. I don't really care too much about friendly fire. There we go, that's victory. Although we're going to want to run them down, so let's do that. See if we can kill them off. Go spiders, go! Okay. And we'll slowly kill off that guy. We're killing off Balthazar Gel. He just can't go anywhere. He's just constantly being nipped. All the spooders. He's having a hard time. The ammo on these Arachnox Pies is like infinite as well. They have so much ammo. It'd be good if we take him out. 
and his buddy over here. Yep, he's gone. Balthasar Gelt will be gone shortly. All right, that would do. We pretty much wiped out the entire army. The only ones that got away were the handgunners. So that might actually just kill the army straight up. Which would be great because we can just attack this element straight away. I think my spiders barely took any damage because the models took the damage but they didn't actually die. So we ended up relatively healthy coming out of that. And we'll take the replenishment so we have a few more numbers going back into attack Averheim. If I can attack that unit outside of Averheim to pull the garrison out as well, that would be perfect. Because then I don't have to play around walls with the spiders. And the Vanaheimlings aren't heading towards the Isle of Wights anymore. Interesting. I kind of hope they would continue north, but I guess it's okay. Nice plus six armor for all of Ragnik Spider Claw's army. That's really nice bonus for him, actually. Making those spiders just add a little bit more tanky. Okay, uh, we're going to go and attack Bjornling's gathering up here with Rathug, so let's just zoom him up here. What you want? I guess I might as well march. It. And we're going to have Gorkil. We could come back and attack this army of the Vanaheimlings. No. They're probably just going to attack at Langrel though, if I do that. I'm going to have to follow him, I think, and kill them off. Over to Grom. So Grom's taking Griffin Gate. Uh, we will have Spinny Rockgart go down and take Tor Elia, I think. So now we just need to figure out a way to get Grom to engage Marathi and these Black Arcs. Gorbeds is in range to attack Admiral Boladin, so we'll probably do that. Uh, let's just zoom down here. Yep. I don't think I necessarily need to be in March Dance, so... It doesn't really matter, though. Let's just get close so that I know I can attack it. Yeah, we'll use Gorbeds to... Ah, oh, that's never mind. That's March Dance. Baited. That's a shame. Okay, uh, well, I don't really want to get too close to this army. Because otherwise what will happen is they'll declare war on us at the end of the turn. Where's Marathi at? But Nagaron's still separate, right? So Nagaron could confederate the Cold of Pleasure. If they do, I am very tempted to attack Nagarond as well. But I don't want to have to be the one to deal with the Chaos Rebellions, or like the Chaos coming down from the north. I'll let Nagron deal with that, and Nagron's pretty strong right now, so they will get weakened by that significantly. The reason I'm checking where the Court of Pleasure is, it looks like they're just central, they haven't really expanded north much, is because I'm wondering whether or not I actually need to move Gorbeds up at all, when we could probably just come down and join Grom and go across into their lands. It's just really annoying that this army's come across to us. We could maybe think about even killing it. But it is a pretty high tier army. And Gorebirds isn't really equipped to deal with it at the moment. Kind of lacks some bigger units that can chop through this infantry nicely. The archers might be able to do some serious damage. Like the Goblin Archers are really strong. And the, with the Frenzy, I'm not sure if this does much to affect their missile strength, but... That could be pretty pretty awesome. 
And my goblins have 50 melee defense, uh, or, or sorry, 50 melee attack and 38 melee defense. So they are better than Black Art Corsairs, even at rank 8. Or maybe I just kill this army while I can. Just take out another faction. I can always go back in a, into Tor Anlek. Yeah. I will have to play it out because I'm a little unsure if we're going to be able to order resolve this without losing a unit. Um, although Lightning Strike doesn't really make much of a difference. Let's just fight it out manually. Doesn't really matter if I lose these units though. I can just replace them. I probably should replace them anyway. Only rank three. Okay, this is a quite nice map for us actually because we can deploy. I mean, we're just going to probably Vanguard deploy in their face, honestly. I really, really love the fact that we can Vanguard deploy. It's so, so nice. They might go and attack my Goblin Rock Lobber. That's okay. That's, again, something that's quite easily replaceable. I'm going to spread these out as much as I can. Because I want to be able to catch their cavalry. I mean, I could technically do this instead. That might be smarter, because then we don't get flanked. And they'll probably still come towards us at the start. Okay, let's start the deployment, start the battle. We're doing fire warlocks and moving in. That's good. Not a fan of that Reaper Bolt thrower. <laughs> Get those Doom Fire Warlocks out of there. Let's just make sure we're shooting these to death. Get rid of those Manticores. Uh, I'm going to make sure all of these are on guard. Seems like they're just like hitting their own dudes with their abilities, which is nice. Alright, let's uh, target ranged forces with the uh, Goblin Rock Lobber. I really need something to go and kill these. We'll get my wolf riders to do it. Alright, these all need to push to the right. We'll have one kill that one. Yeah, these two can actually move forwards. We'll get my lord in here, of course. Go and attack the Calabdis with that. Right, let's do Itchy Nuisance over here. And I might even drop Press of the Bad Moon onto their ranged forces. Great. This is fantastic. Kill off those Black Garden Agaron, please. One of my goblin units did get pretty low, but yeah, as soon as my archers start engaging these, we're going to chew them up. It's going to be really nice. Alright, we've done a lot of damage there. Uh, let's start chewing up the Dreadlord, because the Dreadlords generally, I think they're unbreakable most of the time, or they have a lot of leadership anyway. I'm trying to click my war button. Okay, good. That's pretty much victory. I swear I had problems with these being unbreakable before. In my Tomb King campaign. Oh well, we'll shoot him to death. Would be simple enough. Alright, 
Nice. The archers actually did a really good job there. These wolves can finish off the other Reaper Bolt Threat. Very nice. We'll end it there. Alright, that was pretty simple. Take satisfaction. Yeah, happy with that. 173 for the Nasty Skulkers. 173 kills. That will be because they chased down one of the units, but I think in melee they just did really well there. That was really carried by my range forces massively. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the... I think replenishment probably a good idea. Uh, we are going to want to finish them off. Take the leadership. I am going to go for the treasure. Might as well. New ingredient. Uh... Don't really need to do that, so we're just going to take the Hidden Pirate Cove. What ingredient do we get? The Hard Shell Crab? Physical resistance for Goblin and Night Goblin Infantry units. That's pretty nice, actually. Okay. Uh, do I want to march away... If I come over here, I get replenishment, so we should probably do that. I could think about pushing these armies to be really good in ambush, because you can get ambusher, which is ambush success chance plus 15%, and you can get out clevering, which is an extra 30%. That could give us some pretty good bonuses. And for now, I think we can just continue through the big lads to get back here so we can maintain leadership and then also start recruiting some trolls. I'm going to upgrade Itchy Nuisance. Oh, he's actually got a second one, so we'll just give him the spread public order. That's fine. All right, with that done, uh, let's have Grom start heading to Tor and Lek. It might be worth marching him. Although, no. would it matter if he get double teamed? It really does depend what's in this second army. I think we'll just play it safe. Okay, over to Skarsnik. He's in range to take Kalakvifta. That's fantastic. There is a plague there though, which sucks. Uh, maybe we just raise it for now. Ah, uh, we'll occupy it. Whatever. Let's just get out the settlement so that he doesn't get the plague, hopefully. Okay, the cough him up would be pretty nice. Still 25% of the experience earned by other lords and the uh, extra hero recruitment in all provinces. That's pretty damn nice. We'll go under bosses for now because having that sooner than later seems like a smart move. Uh, we'll go for the walls there, of course. And okay, over to Cracker. Alright, Cracker is going to head round to Kingsglade, of course. I am tempted to upgrade his trolls. Uh, we could go for the reinforced flasks on these trolls. They are rank 9. So that would be really good. I think getting these Night Goblin Archers might be a nice idea in here as well. We'll grab those, and I'm just going to grab another unit of goblins for now. And we'll put some scrap upgrades on these. How much is that going to cost? 250? 
Eh, whatever. Let's do it. We'll get plenty of scrap along the way. Alright, Nubzub. Can head over here. What a name. Neon Jug. Can uh, just assault the garrison. Very good. And Rechnik Spider Claw. Can level up. And then we'll head in. Plus 15 armor for goblin units. I'm hoping that this affects spider riders. That would be really good if it did. Could also go for the curse of bad moon. What are they on right now? They're on 58. It does. That's awesome. Blimey. Those are some really strong Goris Goblin Spider Riders. <laughs> that's that's freaking awesome. Alright, let's head over to this guy. That will force them out. Okay, well, looks like we didn't have to play that one out, so that's fine. I would just take the money, and even though it's not that much, and we'll just take the settlement. Um, I might just occupy it, honestly. It's only 13,000. Cool. So we'll just demolish those buildings, we don't need them. We'll head over to Steingart and take that, and then that'll be the end of the Golden Order. That'll put us in a really good spot. We're probably quite friendly right now with the vampires. Maybe not. <laughs> they don't like us very much. Ruler's Prejudice versus the... or against the Broken Axe. That sucks. Aversion and great power, negative modifiers. Yeah, okay. We're going to end up at war with them soon enough. Yes, boss. Okay, Skunk. We know that's the Knights of Oligo. I think I'm going to head over here. When I get there, gonna stay. Who owns this? Numas. Okay. Mork says what? There's no walls there, is there? We could block the army again, but I don't even know if I not want possible. to. There's not much of a garrison here, so that doesn't really matter. Um, What could we do with Drock? Can he assassinate this guy yet? No. I'm pretty sure those are almost impossible to assassinate. I could head elsewhere to like Zvorak or something to just try and see if there's any armies or maybe head over to like Kalakirn and start harassing them. It might be worth doing that instead. We've got Azrael who is getting there. I am really thinking that Wurzag is long gone. The Bone rat the Rattlers. Is that the the tri is that the tribe? I don't know. Is that Azag's tribe? I don't know the name of Azag's tribe. I always thought it was like a it was called Red something, like a red banner. Don't know. Uh, do we have diplomacy with any of them? The Bone Rattlers. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is Azag. So, He's still fine. You got my attention. Great. That's really good. He's actually quite strong. So I don't think we're going to be able to get a confederation. That's all of our money, so no, that's not happening. Got a vampiric influence. So instead of trying to get to the top of the food chain, this one prefers joining a worthy faction in confederation. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, all the green skin drives are super strong. Alright, that's really good for us. This is actually fantastic for us. If Azag's doing well, the green skins like Grimgore's doing well. I assume Grimgore has Wurzag by his side. That's fantastic. Because Grimgore's going to go ham down here. Azag's doing really well up here. We're going to destroy the new world and then... We're just going to confederate, <laughs> and that's going to be like the end of the campaign. It's going to be super fast. <laughs> it's insane. All right. Let's end the turn.
All right, that Call of Pleasure Black Arc is in a really, really precarious position. When well, Marathi came on land, the other you, the other army didn't. The Marathi's dead. The AI is doing some really strange stuff in this campaign as well. Like some really like illogical decisions. Oh, the Golden Order's destroyed. I guess the Von Karsteins took that. Yep. Alright. Looks like we're going to have to put the Von Karsteins back in their hidey holes. Or back in their tombs, I guess. But this is a big old battle uh, that's coming in. Uh, some Marauder Champions. These have some seriously good melee defense. But we have a troll army, so I think we'll be okay. This is actually quite a nice battle. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. In the next one, we'll play this out. I'll probably have to try and defeat one army before the other. Or maybe I can catch the other one reinforcing or something. Um, we'll see. But we should be okay in this battle. If we get land some good magic and stuff, we should be just fine. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,